shit. <laughs> nice shaving shot. You ever dry shave? Oh, it kills me. Can't do it. <laughs> just rips my skin up. The shit you do just to get footage. That's probably a good shot right there. Sometimes getting ready outside is just the coolest feeling ever. <sighs> Let me get you guys away from here. It's a weird satisfaction. <laughs> oh, I have the best, because you guys get ready in your bathroom. I used to get ready in my bathroom. Well, now this beautiful spot out here with the ocean behind me. Yeah, this, this is my bathroom. And sure, I might be a dirty van dweller, but you still gotta look good. Oh. All right. So we got company and new friends in today's video. They're parked right over there. They're having a little breakfast. What's for breakfast? Look at that. Taters and eggs. Nice. Already ate the bacon. How come you didn't make me breakfast? We could have made you breakfast. <laughs> I already ate breakfast. It's all good. Somebody gets up a lot earlier than we do. Yeah, that'd be... That, let's blame him. That'd be him. Yep. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Got a waddle going. Hey, off to hang out with your new buddy. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Where's, where's my breakfast? Um... Good morning, weirdos. We all slept here at the lighthouse last night that you've seen in yesterday's video. It's a beautiful place to sleep. It was calm. Uh, the tide is just about all the way out. And these guys think they found that little red rock, split rock thing I was searching for yesterday. They kind of cheated though. <laughs> they met somebody local down here yesterday which put them in their truck and drove them to a bunch of touristy spots because that's how friendly canada is and uh, so they said they think they found that spot so i'm going to follow them today and we're going to take off and go see if we can find that red rock place that i just seen from afar and i just have to go see up close but before we go let's leave you some shots of this amazing place to sleep Pretty excited for us to go all the way out. Look at the sand. That's actually a really cool shot. <laughs> Cruz is having a blast out there. So we're going all the way out there to Split Rock. He's not very stealthy. He really can't sneak up on you. Oh, no. oh, thirsty boy.
this lobster claw and it's blue. There's blue lobsters in this water? Yeah. I don't know if they just turn that way or what. That's nice. That's, That's awesome. Nice. So cool. What's happening right now is these guys are asking me like a million and one questions on their YouTube channel, which is one adventure at a time. They're getting deep and personal with some... I admitted that I listened to Tiffany when I was younger. Yeah, but he wouldn't sing the song. Yeah, no, but you can watch their channel to... Yeah. Ah, keeping it real, guys, just keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're walking along here and this all the is that sandstone you said? I think it's sandstone. Yeah. It's wild man. It looks so cool But we walked through a section that looked like that with all the slimy stuff I'm a little worried because over here. It looks all slimy back there. I Watched Cruz running around with him and just like Cruz like slipping and falling and slipping. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I am loving this rock. Wow. <laughs> totally awesome. Wow, all the way over there, there's more like little rocks that are split away from everything. All right, Kersey, let's get up here, bro. All right, buddy, come on. Come on, buddy, you got it. Come on, come on. Come on, Cruz. There you go. Woo. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, big hole in the rock. He's vlogging while I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging him vlogging. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're actually standing on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> How crazy. This is the, the ocean floor. Look at that, right there. Yeah. And believe it or not, the ocean rises all the way up to here. Think about that though. If that's the ocean height, which means all of this rises Look how low down it is. It's like 20, 20, 20 feet. Would you, would you say it was supposed to be 21 feet 21 today? 21 feet today. Could be as much as 42, depending on <sighs> time of year and everything going on. This is insane. Cause look down in the valley. This is all covered in water when the tide's up. Craziness. All right, now let's get down without dying. <laughs> Guys, see you. See ya. Nice hanging out with you guys. It's been fun. We're gonna park it right here for a while. <laughs> I don't blame you. Right? Come on. Because this is this is your can you can you can you <laughs> just you. just a little bit more. Just just a little bit a little bit more a little, little bit more a little bit more a little bit more. Little back way back way back. Bye! Bye. <laughs> it was awesome hanging out with those two this morning. Great time walking out there to the rock. And I'm super thankful that they ran into locals yesterday that showed them how to get here because anything I found on Google Maps was taking me through construction zones and this was down some odd way and then down some side road. Uh, I tried so hard yesterday, but I am super pumped that they met some people from around here 
that showed them around. And that's pretty cool. But that just goes to show you how friendly van life is. Those people live just up the street from the lighthouse that we slept at last night. Meaning that locals a lot of times don't care as long as your vans are out of their way, not blocking their view, not even, even near their home. Down at the far end of the dead end, clearly the locals didn't care. They picked them up took them uptown, took them all touristy places, including down to here yesterday. You know guys, van life isn't as like, uh, people don't hate on it as much as you think. There's more love out there than it is that negative Nancy person that's just like eh, all up in your business. There's more nice people than negative people and I think you're gonna find that once you get out adventuring, at least here in Canada anyway. <sighs> I love my van and I love that it's like looking the way it's looking because I feel like after being in the van for two years, but I deserve this stuff. I deserve to have a home that looks just so impressively epic. And I think how the van has evolved has really kind of been like a visual image on how everything in my life has evolved in the last two years. The channel has grown, I've grown everything in this world has gotten bigger and better. I know in here my mind is clear. It's stronger today than it was when I started two years ago. It's wiser today than it was two years ago. And everything in my world reflects what has been going on. Watch my channel guys. I have a, I have a list called Binge Watch It All. Go back and watch where this journey began, where it was in the middle, maybe some of this build struggle, some of the things that broke along the way some of the emotional things I went through. I encourage you guys go back and watch that playlist, man. There are so many good videos back there. All right, everybody, thanks for enjoying my day with me and little Cruz while well, he's just done. <laughs> he's passed out. Um, it means the world to me that you guys spend your time with us and I love you all forever for it. Thanks for watching today and I'm gonna see you all in tomorrow's video. Seriously, everybody. Thank you.